Hello YouTube, Long Live Rome here with Democracy 3. Now, this is a new series. It's not the usual game that you would see on my channel. It's not first person shooter, it's not city building. It's more policy making. So it is more or less a, po a political game, but it's in it in the sense where you are in control of your own country, or a country in general, and you get to decide the policies and the stances the government has, how much funding things get, and the goal is to stay in power and keep being in the democracy, keep being the one in charge, but, you know, make things either as bad or as good as you want it to be. So we're going to jump, jump right on in with, right here, we're going to be... Go, get, there's, wow, it's already clicked on it. There's the UK, France, Germany, the United States, Canada, and Australia. Now, I live in the US, and the US is hard because, well, they have a huge deficit. Defic deficit. I'm going to try it. I'm going to do difficulty 150. Innate Socialism, 50%, because Socialism makes the game easier. Innate Liberalism, 80%. Again, both of these make the game easier because, um, basically Socialism, in this game, the way it's portrayed, it's, um, what helps everyone. And Liberalism is what is basically like, who's willing for change. And when you're in charge of your own country, both of those things are usually what people try to do. So, doing, turning them on a low amount of people who have them, who, who believe in them in the country, is going to make it harder for whoever wants to do them to, to do them in government. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, hurricanes, earthquakes, non-compulsory non voting, but it's going to be... Uh, I guess, 40% political apathy, which means 40% of the population doesn't care for politics. Uh, term limit is going to be no limit, because I want to keep playing for as long as I can. Uh, term term length is going to be four years. We're going to make our own party name, and it's going to be called The Romans. And then over here, this is going to be Hmm. I would say the Republicans because, you know, in the Roman times there was the Romans and the Republicans and the uh, populace, but the group here is actually called Republicans in the United States. So, uh, what's another one I could do? The Nazi. There. Super realistic. Anyways, let us go into the game. What's also nice is that this game doesn't have very long loading screens. The longest loading screen is when the game starts up and that's it. The other loading screens are like snap of your fingers almost instant. Oh, I think it did it. There we go. So, congratulations on your election victory. Welcome to your new job as president. The lives of all 316,000, er, 316,668,000 citizens are now in your hands. As you will imagine, there are a number of situations and concerns that we'll need to deal with as soon as possible, while keeping an eye on the long-term improvement of Wait, while keeping an eye on the long-term improvement of your citizens' quality of life. Plus, do not forget that you face re-election in four years, so you will need to monitor the option polls and our party's membership. Good luck. So, for the United States, the GDP is, um, it's okay. It's, it's kind of low. Health is just terrible. Uh, education is pretty good. Poverty is medium. Crime is pretty high, and unemployment is pretty up there, too. And those... You can see right... Can't, I can't see them right now. Hmm. But anyways, so right now our income is just under a hundred billion, while our expenditure is a hundred... is a... a 
thousand and a half billion. And the first thing I like to do when I look at a country is see what the money is I have to deal with. So we're going to go up here to the money. And here's our expender. Our most expensive three are military spendings, school pensions, and state schools. Our income is from income tax, government borrowing, which makes our deficit worse, sales tax. For our chart, our debt is up there and it's going up higher. Our income is steady. Global economy sort of going down. And our GDP is eh. Our expenditure is slightly going down too. So first thing we need to do is raise our GDP and lower expending. Or lower our spendings. We also have other problems here. Because, okay, let me explain this really simple about the game. The gray ones are the policies. The blue one are effects of policies, and red and green ones are uh, severity. So the red ones are severity of effects in a negative way, while green are severity in a good way. So like right here, we have alcohol abuse, which if I hold on to it, you can see the green things are contributing to it, while the red things are... The green ones that are heading towards the alcohol abuse are contributing to it, while the red ones that are heading towards it are helping it go down. And the green ones that are coming from it are contributing to another factor, and the red one and their color depends whether it's positive or negative. So this is positive. It doesn't mean it's making crime go down. It means it's adding to crime, meaning making it worse. It all depends on what this subject is. So we have homelessness, I believe. We have uh, pollution. We have uncompetitive tech, uh, uncompetitive economy. We have l a skill shortage, uh, drug addiction, uh, asthma epidemic, antisocial behavior, uh, vigilante justice, and internet crime. So, like I said, first thing we want to do is look at how much money we have. We saw already, so now I want to go to those top three. We want to go to military spending. Spending? No, spending. See, so look how much money we're spending there. So I'm going to lower it to uh, about well-trained. You know, I don't want the Patriots to get mad, so we're gonna... Can, is this zero? It's plus five, so that will be fine. Accept changes. And then our other one was state pensions where are state pensions. I believe these are them. There we go, state pensions. I want to lower them to 200,000. Oh, I can't, oh my gosh, look how much that goes. Okay, now I'm gonna explain capita. Each turn you get a certain amount of these fists. These fists show how many things you can do within a given term. And that's that's basically what it is. Each thing you do, lo raise, lower, cancel, cost a certain amount, and you only have a certain amount. You get them by your, by your um, minister and your cabinets. Right here is threats to the government. Right here is statistics for, you know, who likes us, who doesn't like us, and policies right here are things that have changed since we've taken office. Changes, you know. Uh, the list of changes that were stay your country since you were first elected. Oh, no, these are policies. How popular policies are. Here are the changes of those, you know. Compass, it shows right now we're mostly conservative and capitalist. So, right now we're going to end the turn. And let's see what happens. Credit downgrading. The major international credit agencies have downgraded the status of your government's debt. This is likely, likely to have a knock-on effect on GDP as foreign companies become wary of investing in our country, and it will also result in the interest rate we pay on our debt rising. There is a good chance this will upset the capitalist voters too. You should take action to regain credibility with rating agencies to reduce the level of debt as soon as possible. Your current credit rating is now CC. So basically, we owe too much money. Budget report. Our credit rating is worrying just CCC. We need to fix this either through growing our GDP, lowering expenditure, or higher taxation. Security briefing. Mounting online campaigns against the government. Well then. So basically, the each of these are a different um, group. 
So like the Wildlife Trust, those are the environmentalists. The Heritage Society, those are rich people. The Christian Church are the religious. The Human Rights Society, same thing, just so on, so on, so on. These ones up here that are green, those are uh, protesters, while the ones that are down here are, um, well, as you could probably guess by the gun, those are terrorists. Right now, there's no, no problem with them because we didn't make many too, many people unhappy except for the liberals. The liberals don't like us very much. And as we can see inside of law and order, that is why. So what we can do is cancel policies or change policies. Our popularity is slightly going up, but that's not going to help if our expenditure keeps going, keeps going to upset people. What else can I do? Uh, space program. The space doesn't really do very much. Like, obviously in real life, space program does do, do a lot, but when you really think about it, it gives jobs and it creates technology, but that's about it. If we're content without much technology, then we're perfectly fine. So I'm going to lower the cost from 85 billion to just over 30 billion. And there. So let's go to expenditure and see what's our most expensive. Again, state pensions, military spending. I keep saying spending. Military spending. Next, I want to look at science funding. And again, not really doing that much. People get upset if we do only test tubes. So let's just leave that alone. We have 24 to work with. I kind of want to cancel a policy that's making the liberals unhappy. Oh. I remember what I want to do. Um, border control. Biometric checks. Nope, this, this is a this is good right here, the way it's at. I kind of want to introduce a, a tax. Got, oh yeah, right here, this little, this little light bulb. These are policy ideas, and these are the different policies you can add, change, get rid of, etc., etc. I like to put on a... Um, alcohol tax because it helps it helps the um, alcohol abuse go down and it brings in a lot of money we do not have a mon we do not have enough to get that right now so we're just going to end the turn debt law protection there is an urgent policy question that requires your immediate attention debt control Cadet collection agencies have been in the news because the aggressive methods they are using to, ah, to extract payment from people who owe large sums of money. These debt collection agencies provide credit, credit to people whom larger, more respectable companies will not lend money. A law is pro proposed to limit the ways in which such agencies can operate. Limit agency activity or allow agencies to operate. Let's go back to that in a little bit. Unemployment's going up because I cut the military and all that stuff, but we're going to work on unemployment after we work on the economy. So if we go look at here, that is going to upset the capitalist or the socialist depending on who we help. Right now, most of the country is capitalist, so helping the capitalist will be greater for our popularity. So what I'm going to do is go back to the policy and I'm going to allow them to operate. Patriots are upset. We can also do foreign aid. I kind of want to lower that. But I don't know about that for sure. I want to go to here. Go to tax. And get that alcohol tax. Where is it? There it is. It's not very popular. But it's like I said, it's going to add a lot of money. Look at that. $88 billion. We're going to raise it to 50%. And we still have 20 to work with. I kind of want to get rid of private prisons. It's making unemployment go down. It's helping the capitalists and messing with the liberals. What else could we do to help them? Hmm. Prisoner tagging. Well then. Liberal crime, violent crime. Well, we don't really need the prisoner tagging. Because armed police, if we raise them a little bit then it will help it will work out just fine so we're going to cancel prisoner tagging right now and that should make the liberals just a little bit happier but dang look at all those things making them mad it's quite a bit let's end the turn
There we go. Superhero. News stations are buzzing with reports that a caped man has been seen fighting crime in our cities. Already a number of high-profile arrests have been unofficially attributed to the masked stranger. It's a sign how bad things have begun have begotten to our streets that citizens are now turning superheroes for help. Crime, violent crime is going to slightly go down. And they're still mad at our stuffs. Polls, we are at 13% popularity. That is not good. Yeah, we're starting to go down a little bit because people are losing their jobs. But again, don't worry. I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to make people happy. Look at that. Liberals are already slightly happier. So next thing I want to do is Tackle the unskilled labor. What's contributing to that? Education and technology. Technology is making it go down, go up, but education is making it go down. So there are two ways we can work with education. That's private schools and public schools. Private schools will make, um, right here, school vouchers cost go up. Poor earnings go down. Middle earnings go down. Qual uh, Quality go down, education, etc., etc., etc. But what I'd like to do is, what is this? Click on it. There we go. School vouchers. What is this? A measure designed to encourage the growth of private schooling whilst enabling everyone to afford education. So socialism will go down, equality will go up, poor earnings will go up, and private schools will be happy. Well, we're going to leave that the way it is right now. I want to go to state schools and improve education to 200 billion and that should make relatively everyone slightly happier let's see what makes everyone happy let me freaking click on it oh it's right there so internet crime that's one reason why everyone's mad at us but that's going down what contributes to that technology. So if we, make, if we make technology go down, then internet crime will go down as well. But our technological advantage will go down with that. See, this is why the decisions are tough. I'll see you all next time. Long Live Rome signing off. As always, comment, rate. I hope you enjoyed. And see you all later. Goodbye.